Hi, today I'm going to do the super speeded up version, or the super easy version, I should say, of my Kitten Flick liquid liner. And this is something that I'll do if, for some reason, it does happen occasionally, I only end up with 15 minutes to do a client's makeup. This happens either because sometimes when you're doing press junkets and things, interviews run over and then suddenly you've got hardly any time to do the makeup before the evening. Or sometimes people are delayed in traffic and they get there really late and by the time the hair's done, you've got no time left. And occasionally it's quite a good one to do if I want to do that flicky look, but I know that they're not going to be able to sort of engage with me because maybe they're looking at their phone or this, they're being interviewed or something else is going on. So, and it's a really good one for all of us really because if you just want to get that flicky look but you don't want to have to spend the time kind of really working that liner so it's very very fast I've already done my base and um, I've already done my brows so I'm going to go straight into liner so the trick is just to do it the outer corner so just starting right near the edge pushing into the roots and wing out how far you wing out will really depend on the shape of your eye, so you'll have to check in a second. If you're hooded, you're going to have to wing out a little bit more. And then underneath, you just fill in that corner. And the reason this is quick is because you don't have to be too fussy about how you do it. You can be quite um, speedy. And then what I usually do is I usually take a small brush and I use a little bit of water and a matte black or a matte brown, whatever colour of eyeliner you're using. And then you just go back over the top. Just slightly smudge in. While it's still a little bit wet. Now if your eyes are hooded, you'll find that this bit that goes underneath, you have to make more of a statement from. So when you're looking straight ahead in the mirror, you almost have to come down a little bit more there. And then once you've done that, you can just get a tiny bit of soft shadow on the brush and just really soften that last bit off. Just like that, and you'll see when I've done my, what I'll do now is I'll give my lashes a really good curl and put plenty of mascara on top. This is a great one if you're really not good at doing the liner all the way from the inner corner. It's also good if your eyes are close together because by having all of the emphasis literally on the outside, it really you know, gives your eyes that wide space look. So I'm just putting plenty of mascara on. I'm going to pay particular attention to the outer edges there. So that's both eyes done. And then what I tend to do is once I've done the liner on both eyes like that with a bit of mascara, I then go in and just do a little bit of socket line. I can. I like to do this after the liner, just with a matte grey or a matte brown or a greyish brown, just to again give that lift, mainly at the outer corner. This is again really speedy. Usually, when I do this look on clients, I literally spend five minutes on the eyes. That's it. And that gives me ten minutes to do the skin and the concealer, and then finish off with a quick lip done. And then sometimes I'll use like a light, a white colour or something at the inner corner. This again is a matte. And then I go... Just add a bit more socket. Then if I've got a little bit more time, like another minute or two, 
instead of putting on, I'll put some lashes on, but not a full set, not even a half set, and definitely not individuals, because I don't want to put like six or seven on. But I take a kind of set and I just cut about five lashes from the outer corner, because it's so easy just to drop it in, particularly if someone's in the middle of a conversation and chatting. And that can just be dropped on and you can kind of leave them to continue their little conversation. And that just again kind of emphasizes that shape. So I've just finished off with a little touch of blush and that's a really nice quick look, but you still get that very flirty, you know, you definitely get that lovely kitten shape to eye and it's I think it's really good for lots of reasons it's great if you're not good at doing the full line from the inner corner right the way across because for some reason I don't know you never get them even or you find you have to spend too long it's fantastic if you haven't got a lot of time it's great on hooded eyes because all of the focus is just on this outer edge and really coming underneath as well it's great if your eyes are close together because you get a really sort of spaced out look in the eyes and also it's good if your eyes are very round and you're trying to make them look more almond shaped. So by focusing just on the outer edge, it's really good for that as well. And also good if you're doing someone's makeup that if for some reason they can't keep still or they're doing other things while you're trying to do their makeup. That happens to me a lot. And I always say when they ask me, oh, can I do this while you're doing my makeup, particularly if I'm doing liner? Don't worry, I'm an expert at doing makeup on a moving target. So it's really good for that sort of thing as well. So I hope you like the look. Try it. It's so easy, I promise you and um, I'll see you soon.